Hello everyone, welcome back to Phoenix Landing Studio with me, Michael. And today is the final part of this video series called Making Music from Scratch. So, we've got to the final stage now, well one of the final stages anyway, of putting lyrics to this song that we've done. In the previous videos, we've managed to get some chords together, put a song structure together, uh, we've wrote it down and now it's time to put lyrics to that song because we want the song to be remembered by the public because 99.5% of the public react to songs with lyrics okay so in order to get your song out there you're gonna put some lyrics to it so we are coming at this from making music from scratch um, if you've got writer's block, basically you're doing the same thing. You are creating something that's not set in stone. I've said this throughout all the video series now. None of this is set in stone. You can change it at a later time. But it's just the process of getting back into the process of doing the song and getting it recorded. So, or getting something recorded. It's better than nothing. So, lyrics. Now... I'll be honest with you, this is not my strong point. I did go to college and one of the classes uh, was um, writing lyrics for songs. And um, there are tons, I, I learned that there are tons of ways of writing songs. You can be inspired by certain events. Um, it's always good to write a song that the public respond to with current events in it, or something that's trending today. Um, and I think I said, you know, one of the main things uh, that's trending today is politics, basically. Um, it's just an entertainment ride that the public are taking notice of. And if you can write a song about what's happening in today's world, the public will react to that. Um, but, you know, you can be inspired by just looking out the window and writing a song if you're the poetic type that is if you're not uh, then trying my method of writing a song might be the way to go now throughout my college days um, like I say I learned a lot about different ways of approaching lyrical writing and there's two sets of people basically there are people like me who kind of find lyrics hard because I grew up as an instrumentalist or there's the other type of person that is basically a poet laureate and has a wide vocabulary in in his or her head to write stuff down and that's the thing um, if you can have a large vocabulary of of songs to listen to then you're halfway there to writing a good song you can always learn from other people um, Stephen King said that um, in order to write a good book you have to do lots of reading and it's the same thing for songwriting in order to write a good song you have to look at other people's lyrics and see if you can um, memorize a few, learn some tricks along the way. So, one of the tricks, and I emphasize that, just one of the tricks I came up with after learning about songwriting was this. If you're stuck writing a song, then, then try this out. It might help you. What you do is you take your favorite song. Now, you, it can either be your favourite song or it can be a, a good song that you think is good, okay? So I chose Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight, okay? I took the first verse of Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight and I wrote down each line of the song. So the first line is, it's late in the evening. And what I do is I count the uh, syllables in that line. It's late in the evening. That's six. So, 
the first line has six syllables in it. And as a good rule of thumb, it's late in the evening. Yeah, the next line is, she's wondering what clothes to wear is seven syllables. So what I do is, I take one of those numbers, I'll choose seven, and I give myself, uh, I give myself two extra syllables or two lesser syllables. So if I'm going to write a line, it has to be either seven syllables long or at the least five, at the most nine syllables. Okay, so when I'm writing a song, I'm going to take that line from Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight, choose something from that line, but as long as it adds up to either six, five, six, seven, eight or nine syllables, it's okay. I, I know this sounds complicated, I'll show you what I mean. So, it's late in the evening is six. So my first line of my song is either going to be four or eight syllables long. And I've chose to do the opposite of that line, which is early in the morning. Early in the morning is six syllables, okay? The next line in the Eric Clapton song is, she's wondering what clothes to wear, which is seven syllables. So my next line is going to be at least five syllables, no more than nine syllables. So there's always, there's always a, 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 a give and take of two syllables either side, okay? And I chose, um, I've, I've changed the she to a he, which is a common trick in, in songwriting, okay? You do the opposite, or you talk about opposites. So she becomes he in my song, and in the original it's she's wondering what clothes to wear, and I've put he's staring at the road signs, okay? Now, I did mention in the previous video that we were going to do something regarding a guy walking down the road in a desert type environment. So this is what I came up with. Then the next line in the song is, uh, she puts on her makeup. She puts on her makeup, which is six. So my next line, you guessed it, is gonna be four to eight syllables long. And I've put, he straightens his shirt and tie. Okay, straightens his shirt and tie. I know it sounds silly, but what I'm doing is I'm deconstructing every line from Clapton's song and changing it to suit my song. Okay, so putting that together with the chord structure that we came up with before, the Eric Clapton one, what we're going to do, it's early in the morning, he's staring at the road signs, and so on, okay, so basically for that whole verse, I deconstructed Clapton's song and reworded it for mine, making sure that I used the right amount of syllables. Now the reason I always give two syllables either side of the target is that any more syllables than two, then it sounds like you're trying to cram too many words into one line. It's, it's, it's too much, okay? So what you've got to do is make sure 
that you count the syllables in your favourite line of your favourite song and make sure you don't go over it by two and don't go under it more than two, okay? That simple. That is one of the, the, the easiest ways I can explain to you of just one way of writing a song. Try it. I'm telling you, it will work for you. So I've managed to write a whole verse to this uh, song. So I've played a little bit for you now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record it and I will release it once my channel gets over a hundred subs. Sorry, that's the way it's going to be. Um, so please tell your friends, tell anyone to subscribe to Phoenix Landing Studio. And once I get over a hundred, I will release this song that we've worked on together now for six or seven episodes now, okay? Good luck with your songwriting. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Facebook uh, or Instagram or Twitter and join me for some more videos in the future, pretty soon actually, with Phoenix Landing Studio. Okay guys, I hope this has helped you with your songwriting or your writer's block, but the most important thing to remember is to just get something down, anything, and you can always change it later. Doing nothing is, is not helpful, okay? So if I can bloody well do it, you can bloody well do it too, okay guys? I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.